Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How was your day today? Um, what? I can hear you too. Okay, great. Um, good to see everyone. Hi, Harry. Hi, Mitran. Wonderful to see you guys. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Really uh, good news in Ho Chi Minh today. We are right, right, now, right. yeah, we're now able to go outside and uh, go back to the office and go to the gym. So lots of good news. How was your day, Mi-chan? Oh, my day is, my day was good. What did you do uh, today? Today in the morning, I uh, reviewed our English lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I I called my best friend to practice speaking English with her. And now I'm learning English with you. Fantastic. That's a lot of learning for one day. Double learning day. That's, uh, that's great. Uh, well, tonight we're going to be learning lots of um, Quick, kind of food. Uh, do you live? Uh, I'm living in District 10. Uh, yeah, District 10, Ho Chi Minh. Hello, Miss Nam. Nam Ling, good to see you. Oh, District 10. Uh, before I learned. Uh, before you learned in District 10? Sorry, sorry. Um, sorry. I, I just said that before uh, I learned at the um, Nguyen Đình Chiếu School in uh, District 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, very, very near to where our, our office is. Um, great. Yes. Uh, okay, guys. Well, um, very good. Wonderful to see everybody. And um, tonight, we are going to be going on two new sounds. Um, two new sounds, right? So for tonight's lesson, we'll be looking at um, very, very, very common sounds in the English language. Uh, the first of these sounds is the uh sound. The uh sound. Now, Technically, people typically write this sound as like an upside down V, kind of looks like this. Um, but I typically write this sound uh, just as how I think it sounds, which is uh, which is a UH. Um, so either one, you can have uh, uh, like in the word up, up, or but, but, right? Uh, uh sound, but, uh. But up, we're going up in the sky. I would like to go to the movies, but I would rather stay home and watch movies at home. Um, uh, uh. So making the, the uh sound, um, this is a very relaxed sound, okay? So when making this sound with our mouth, the uh, uh, sound you can see my mouth here uh very relaxed your jaw drops down quite low uh uh your tongue in the middle of your mouth and it's just a su uh some 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 it's quite soft and relaxed if you were to make psalm kind of feel strong right psalm i know somebody no so I know somebody, somebody. Um, so quite a relaxed uh, uh sound. And Miss Chow, if you scroll down a little bit, we can see here the, the different um, spellings on this and zoom in a little bit. Um, we can see that it's typically spelt, like if you're, if you're going to see um, the spelling of this word or if you know the spelling of the word, it's usually with a U in the middle. So 80% of the time, you're gonna be seeing it spelt as like in the word, but, or, Put um, that uh sound usually with a u in the middle. Also, you may see it spelled with an o, like in the word come or some. And those are going to be the two most common spellings that you're going to see for the uh sound. And when you can recognize the uh sound, if ever you're reading 
um, any words or you're chatting with somebody, the uh sound um, is gonna be coming mostly as you or, or as an O. So again, mouth position, very uh, loose, very relaxed and making the uh sound like in the word um, some, come, done, love, monkey, money, company, uh, uh, sound. Uh, Miss Nam Ling, do you think that you can read uh, these words here? Ms. Nam Ling, yes. Yes, yes, I'm here. Uh, come, sham, done, love, monkey, money, company. Um, this word one more time and a little stronger P sound in the middle. Company. There we go. Good, good. And um, here, this one one more time. Done. Uh, yeah, done. Done. There we go. Good, good. Um, great. Yeah, that's um, very clear. So easy to understand. Um, so your uh sound is, is quite clear. Um, so a few other examples where we might see the uh sound here. We have um, another list of words here as well. Um, it's another list of words here as well. Can we get uh, Harry? Harry, how are you doing? Good, yeah, good. Yeah. Um, can you please read? Uh, can you read this set of words here? Yeah. Uh, put. Cup. Gun. Good. Story. Subject. Unhappy. Unapo. Umbro. Uh, Umbright. Um, okay. Right. Good. Okay. So you're making the uh sound pretty clearly. But what I'd like is probably when you're making this sound, your mouth is a little bit closed. I want you to relax, relax your mouth a little bit to make the sound but, uh, 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 but, cup, cup, uh, un, gun. Try one more time with the first three words. Uh, a uh, uh, book, cup, good. Okay, more relaxed, good, good. And let's try these three words. Good. Saturi, sub, subject. Good. Um, great. Yeah, so that's that's much more clear, right? So with the uh sound, just a little bit more relaxed. Um, also, one more point just for your pronunciation practice. I recommend that you practice a little bit more on the ending sounds of the word, okay? Uh, subject. Uh, yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. Much more clear. Subject, subject. Subject. Thank you, Harry. That's, um, that's great. Thank, thank you, teacher. Right, and sometimes we're actually going to see this with the OO sound um, or even with the OU sound. So a couple examples here. Um, we'll get you to read Miss Lang, Miss Lang Nguyen. Yes. Um, can you please read the highlighted words here? Poon. Uh, Floon. Okay, let's start with this one here. So this is BL, so it's going to make a bl. And then we have the uh sound in the middle, followed by the d sound at the end. Can you read it one more time? Blue. Okay, and a little stronger ending sound? Blue. Good, good, better, better. Blood. Blood. Blood, blood is the, the stuff in your veins, like if you cut and it bleed everywhere, it's blood. Blood. Yep, good. And then this other word, how would you say this one? Blood. 
Good. Stronger ending sound? Flood. A little bit more? Flood. Flood. Good, good. Much better. Um, great. And then we have a few more with the OU as well. Ms. Jam, can you scroll down a little bit? And um, here we go. Can you read these um, OU sounds as well? Young. Country. Girl. Chat. Enough. Town. Colson. Okay. Um, so mostly good. So this is tricky. So everyone pay attention to this. For words like rough, enough, and tough, this GH sound at the end actually makes an F sound. Um, so this is actually a F sound at the end. So when we say this word, we say rough. 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 Good, good. And how would you say this word? Rough. Enough. Okay, but the ending sound is a F sound at the end, so? Enough. Good, good, very good, very good. And last one here. Talk. F sound at the end. Talk. Okay, beginning sound, good. Ta, ta, right? But the ending sound is a f, f sound at the end. F. All right, so tough. Tough. Yes, very good, very good. So, guys, you can see, like, for the GH sound here, you have rough, enough, tough. Thank you very much, <laughs> Ms. Lang Lang. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Um, very clear. Um, so, we have a few more examples uh, with this at the beginning of the word and also in the middle of the word. Um, we're going to go through a few more of those examples. So, um, Ms. Uh, Mitran, I'm going to read out a couple words here. I'd like you to repeat them back to me, okay? Yes. Other. Other. Good. Under. Under. Very good. Until. Until. Very good. Until. Under understand. 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 Well done. And we have four more. This is with the uh sound in the middle of the word. Another. 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 Next one. Uh, come. Come. Good. Search. Search. Uh, yep. Such. Such. Very good. Very good. Such. And become. Become. Excellent. Well done, me friend. Um, very clear. All right, guys. So that's um, that's it. Um, very good. Thank you, Mitran. And um, so that's it for the uh sound, right? So I think we've we've kind of got that. I think we've gone through a few examples. Now we're going to start looking at the um, the ah uh sound. Ah uh, uh sound. Um, and the ah uh sound, actually, in in British English. So if you want to speak British English they use a lot more of the ah sound um, in words. Like they will, because, they will say a word like because, and they'll more use an ah sound. In American pronunciation, they tend to use a little bit more of the uh sound in place of the ah sound. Um, so you'll hear like the word because, us, because, and it'll be more of a uh sound. But in British English, you might hear it because, um, and they'll use more of a stronger ah sound. So that's um, one of the differences to note here. So when making the ah sound, um, the ah sound, your mouth is going to be um, a little bit more tight. 
then making the uh sound. So less relaxed, uh, very relaxed, ah, 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 um, a little bit stronger. And you're going to open the back of your throat, ah, ah, on, on, ah, ah, on, ah, ah, on, right? So it's much more of a ah sound. So very similar to when you're making the ah, ah sound, like when you go to the dentist, you open up the back of your throat, but with the ah, a little bit more closed, rounded middle, ah, on. Na uh, not, not pra uh, problem, problem. Okay, Miss Chan. Đối với âm này á, thì mọi người sẽ phát âm giống như là âm o ở trong tiếng Việt á mọi người ha, cho nên là khá là dễ. À. Yeah, exactly. So you guys should get this easily. Um, we got this in uh, Vietnamese, so let's um, get into a few practice examples um, right away. So most commonly. You're going to see this spelt in three different ways. You're going to see this spelt um, most commonly with an O, just like in the word got, ot, got, or on, on, right? O sound or O letal. You might also see it spelt with a A, like in the word want or taunt, ah, uh, wa, uh, want, right? Ah uh, sound. As well, you very infrequently, you will also see it like in the word calm as an al and the l will be silent so in the word like calm um but calm and like maybe there's som somber maybe is another word that uses like a an al very uncommon mostly you're going to see it with an o or an a so we're going to do a few um practices here let's get um let's get uh tan trang miss nguyen le tan trang Um, Chị Trang ơi, không biết mình có ở đây không ạ? À? Oh, she's here. I can see you. Trang ơi? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Can you please read the words? Okay. Trang ơi. No idea. Miss Jam, can you scroll in a little bit? Zoom in. Up ten. Clock. Knock. Up was promise. Doctor. Okay. Um can you please look at the um the words on the, the screen highlighted in pink color? So the first one here will be fond. Lock. Fond. Good, Lock. good. Stop. Gun. Oh. Lost. Sorry. Ground. Up ten. Clock. Knock. Obvious. Promise. Doctor. All right. Very good, Trang. That's excellent. Um, your ah sound is very clear, easy to understand. Let's go back to this word one more time. I want you to put this as ah, v. Uh, say it in three parts, okay? Half the us. Yes, very good, very good. And all together? Oh. Obvious. Obvious. Very good, yeah. very good. Um, thank you, Trang. Yeah, that was good. Um, okay, great. Yeah, we've got some, um, some more examples with the aw uh, sound. So let's get... Um, Miss Quinn? Nguyen Dim Quinn? Yes. Um, do you think that you can read the examples with the aw sound here? Yeah. 
want, was, wonder, wallet, wallow, wash, watch, warrior, warfare, swat, call, car tea, quantity. Okay. Um, so your awe sound is is quite good. Let's go back to um, this word and hit the ending sound, the ch sound at the end. What? Good. And let's try this word one more time. Mm, quantity. Qu okay. Good, good. Quantity. So that would be, yes, there quantity. we go. There we go. One more time. Quantity. Yes, very good. Um, quantity is like a big, as a number of something. So yeah. if you have um, quantity is like uh, you have five, five Starbucks um, drinks or five coffees, you have um, maybe a large quantity of, um, of Starbucks, or maybe you have a lot of coffee or a lot of rice, you have a large quantity of rice. Um, very good. Um, so yes, yes that, that all sound very clear. Um, so a few other ones uh, you might see. So um, for the word was, so this is written as an aw sound. Typically, like Americans will usually say was. They'll use a a uh, uh sound for this. So it was as opposed to was. Um, so that's one of the differences you'll hear in the um, in the British pronunciation. So I'm going to read out a few words. Um, we're going to do a listening exercise. So I'm going to read out a few different words. Um, you guys listen closely. If I'm doing, um, I think we all know this, know the drill here. So if we're doing a sound with the uh, the ah sound, um, the ah sound is going to be a thumbs up, and the uh sound, like uh uh, um, is going to be a thumbs down, right? So thumbs up, ah sound, thumbs down. A uh, sound, so like in the um, like in the word f fund, fund or fond, fond, right? Fund, fond. Okay, so I will be reading one word from the list here. You guys listen carefully. You hear that ah uh sound, thumbs up. You hear that a uh sound, thumbs down, and. Um, we will get our listening practice on. Listen carefully, read the words after yourself because next you're going to be reading for the class. All right, first word up here, first word up. We have the word dawn. Dawn. Dawn, aw sound, a uh sound. What do we got guys? Aw sound, a uh sound. One more time. Dawn. Dawn. Okay. So this is actually an aw, aw sound, right? Dawn, which is going the uh, the thumbs up. Aw, aw, on. So nice job, Nam Ling. Um, good listening. Not aw, dawn. Now, if it was with the uh sound, you would hear done. Done. Dawn. You can see the shape of my mouth. Done. D uh, done. I am done. I am done my work. I am done eating. Dawn. We worked until dawn. I woke up before dawn. Okay, uh, difference in the aw uh and the uh sound. Next one, next one, listening closely, listening closely, listening closely. And we have the word lung. Lung. Aw uh sound, uh sound. Lung. Aw, uh, aw, uh. uh. Tan Liam, he seems pretty confident. He thinks it's a big thumbs down. 
Um, all right. Miss Nam Ling thinks thumbs down. Miss Cham looks a little uncertain. Um, Lung. Okay. Yep. That's absolutely correct. So that is a thumbs down. So compare that with another word. Lung. Be thumbs down. Long. It's a very long drive to get to where we're going. Long. Lung. Right? Hear that difference in the uh, ah. Okay. Next one here. Listen closely. Buddy. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do we got, folks? Buddy. Okay. Up, down. Going to give it one more time. Buddy. So the buddy is, drum roll, is an uh sound, right? Uh sound, so that is a down. Ba, ba, uh, buddy. Compare that with the paired word, body. Buddy, body. Right? Buddy, you and me, we are buddies. This is my buddy, Eric. Buddy, body. Um, he has a big body. It is a big body of water. Uh, Audi. Okay. Um, last one here, and then I'm going to get one of you guys to do a little reading here. Everyone else can listen. Color. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do we got there, folks? I'm going to read it one more time. Harry thinks it's a down. Let's read it one more time. Color. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Liam thinks it's a thumbs up there. A couple people. Harry's writing the word in the chat. Thinks that's right. Color. Okay, right, so the, um, okay, very good. Um, so the answer to this one, this is a actually a thumbs down, thumbs down, right? So this is the uh sound in the word color. If you were to hear the paired word this, it would be collar. The dog is wearing a collar versus the dog has a blue color, collared. Color, a uh, sound, caller, o oh, sound, color, caller. Hear that difference in the uh and the aw. Uh. Very good. All right. Um, let's get um, tweet thing. Miss Jam, can you scroll down? Set of words here. Miss uh, Tweetling. So now the opportunity is you guys are going to read out one word, read it out once, let the class listen, guess. Next one, listen, guess, listen, guess a third time, and then reveal the answer. Miss Cham, can you explain that? Ở phần này thì mọi người sẽ đọc một từ bất kỳ ở trong cái bảng mà ở trên màn hình. Sau đó mọi người còn lại sẽ đoán đó là âm o hay là âm ơ. Rồi đáp án thì cái người đọc sẽ viết vào khung chat giúp em nha. À, Thủy Tiên ơi, không biết mình có đây không ạ? À? Thủy Tiên, come on, Thủy Tiên. Thủy Tiên ơi. Ok, ok, no problem, no problem. Tran Tao? Tran Tao? Yes. Yes, yes, here. Please choose your word. Uh, body. body. Okay, everybody, everybody, everybody listening, everybody listening, right? Um, please just say the word, one word, one word. 
À, em đọc một từ thôi nha Thảo nha. À, dạ. Body. Hmm. Everyone listening to that. Is that an aw sound or an uh sound? Up, down, up, down. Please repeat one more time. Body. Okay. People are saying that's an up, that's a down. We're seeing a few different answers. Um, can you please write the answer in chat? Thảo ơi, em viết đáp án vào khung chat nha. Viết như thế nào chị nào? Uh, chữ mà em đọc á. Okay, I think the word we got there was body. Is that right? That's the aw sound, the aw sound. And that would be with the thumbs up, right? Chữ em đọc là âm o hay là âm ơ? Em đọc body? là âm o ạ. Body. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. That's great. Can you please read one more word? Đọc lại lên nữa đúng rồi anh chị. Không, em sẽ đọc một từ khác nha. Uh, go. Okay, everyone re listening, everyone listening, everyone listening. Please repeat one more time. Go. There we go, guys. Is that the aw sound or the uh sound? Please repeat one more time. Good. Okay. So chat seems to be guessing and screens looks like we're guessing a thumbs down. Is that right, guys? Thumbs down for the uh sound, right? Uh sound? Em đọc âm gì á? Uh, em đọc âm... Um, âm... Um, ơ chị ạ. Okay, very good, very good. And we think the word there was... Can you say it one more time? The word is golf. 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 Good. So golf is like a... When you have a piece of land and then a river below or a big part of water below that connects to an ocean. So when you have water that connects to an ocean, it's called a gulf. Um, and then the other word for that would be golf. Golf. Golf and golf. Okay. Um, very good. Let's get um, let's get Miss V Nguyen. V Nguyen. Chị Vi ơi. I know hello. Vi. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah. Um, do you It's... um are you following along? Do you know uh do you know the the game? So we need you to say one word on the screen and yeah. we're going to listen to you, okay? Yeah, any word Is the three? Yes. Yeah. That's an aw or an uh sound. Uh, yes. Or maybe a uh, rubber. Okay. Everyone listening. Everyone listening. Is that the aw sound or the uh sound? Is rubber. Aw sound or uh sound, guys? What do we got? Can you please repeat one more time? Uh, rubber. Rubber. Okay. Looks like we've got a thumbs down. People in the chat are putting thumbs down. So is that an uh sound? Rubber? Rubber, thumbs down? Yeah, it's that me. It's my work. All right. <laughs> Very good, guys. Very good. Um, can you please say one more word? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, Cup. Okay, there we go. Everyone listening? Everyone listening? Is that an uh sound or an aw <laughs> sound? Can you please say it one more time? Cup. Okay, what do we got? Thumbs up, thumbs down. One more time, V. Uh, yes, cup. 
Okay, stronger ending sound. That was better. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> much better. <laughs> and um, let's say the that is going to be an a uh sound for a down. Is that right? Cuff. No, not exactly. My oh, word no. is yeah. I mean, cuff. I c o u g h. Okay, so yeah, we're yeah. going to use the aw sound for that. So that would be cough. Cough. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can you say it? No, 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 no. Don't, don't be sorry. Say it one more time. Cough. Cough. Ah, uh, ah, uh, cough. Ah, 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 cough. Yes, better. Yeah. Can you? Okay, just because um, that word. Can you say these two words here? Does, does. Good. These two. Rubber, rubber. Stronger O sound here. Robber, robber. 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 Okay, rubber. Better. better, better. Yeah. Um. So a little clearer pronunciation on the the aw aw sound. Okay. Yes, I got it. Okay. Thank you, Vin Wing. Okay, guys, so I think we've done a um, good amount of um, reading for those. Let's get a few more um, practices in. Miss Cham, can you scroll down a bit? I want to hear you guys doing some reading to really get that difference in sound between the words. Um, so we're going to get um, Trung Nguyen. Trung Nguyen. Anh Trung ơi. Anh Trường ơi, không biết mình có ở đây không ạ? À? Oh no, Trường. No. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see Yes. Yeah. Um, Chum, can you scroll up? Um, can you please read these 10 words here? Okay. Down, skin, look, look, knock, look, long, look, cut, kiss. Okay, um, mostly good. Can you read these two words again? Nut. Nut. Okay, so that's the first one here. Nut. Nut. Yeah. Good, better, better. And this one, lung. Nut. Lung. 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 Better. And then this one? Long. Long. Good, good. And um, can you try uh, this one one more time? Look. A uh, little bit more relaxed with your mouth. Luck. Look. Good. Better. Um, great. Thank you, Ms. Trung Nguyen. Uh, yeah, so that would just um, relax your mouth a little more when speaking um, for the uh sound and it will come out more clearly. Um, very good. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of sentence reading right now. And um, let's go in, sentence reading here. Um, let's get um, Min Heo Nguyen. Anh Minh Hiếu ơi. Anh Minh Hiếu ơi, không biết mình có ở đây không ạ? Oh, devastating. It's not here. Okay, okay. Um, no problem. Let's get um, Tan Lim. Tan Lim. Tan Lim yes. Wing. Yes. Can you do a little reading for us? Yes. We've From got... someone with a lot of money, the sum of 100 pounds of was in. in Good job pronouncing the ending word. Can you read the beginning part, just this section here, a little bit slower? For someone with a lot of money. Good. And this word one more time, someone. Someone. Good, good. Number two. But love, don't worry. Victory is in front of you. 
Good. And can you say this one one more time with the ending sound a little yes. stronger? Oh. Good, good. And then third one here. I can't understand the fun of traveling by bus on short road country girls. Okay, um, this word one more time. Roach. Okay, so this at GH sound at the end here, like in the word rough or tough, rough. makes a rough. makes a f sound, makes an F sound. Rough. 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 Very good, very good. Rough country roads. Rough country grows. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Tang Lim. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of an exercise now here where I'd like you to read each of the sentences one by one out loud and think of where are the uh, <coughs> the uh sounds in the sentence and try to identify which uh sound is in each sentence. We'll then go through it one by one and we'll work together to find all of the uh sounds and the aw uh sounds inside each of the sentences on the screen. So take a minute, look at the screen, read each of the sentences, try to identify the uh sounds and the aw uh sounds inside the screen. And then we're gonna go through and highlight them one by one, okay? Trong phần này, mọi người sẽ uh, đọc cái đoạn này lên và sẽ tìm ở trong cái chữ nào sẽ có âm o uh, và chữ nào sẽ có âm ơ. Uh. Mọi người sẽ có một phút để mình tìm, sau đó thì thầy sẽ gọi tên mọi người để mọi người đọc ha. Đối với hai âm hôm nay mình học á, thì âm O mọi người sẽ phát âm giống như chữ O trong tiếng Việt. Còn âm Ơ thì mọi người phát âm giống như chữ Ơ trong tiếng Việt. À, hai âm hôm nay học khá là dễ ha mọi người ha. All right, are we feeling ready for this? We all excited for this? I know I'm a little excited. All right. So let's jump in on the first sentence here. Okay. Pretty sure we'll be able to get this one together. Um, who wants to try doing the first sentence? You guys can raise your hands and uh, use the little thing. So identify if you want to give the first one a try, finding out where all of the ahs and uhs are in the first sentence. Anyone? All right, I will pick on you one by one then. Uh, Mr. Harry, Harry, step right up, sir. Yes. First sentence here, can you identify some of the uh sounds in the sentence? So try là... reading, maybe read the sentence first, and then you can explain it. Um, Cham, you can explain. Anh đọc câu thứ nhất lên, sau đó anh sẽ chỉ cho thầy biết là ở trong uh, câu này thì cái chữ nào sẽ có âm ơ nhanh nha. À, đọc hết câu đó rồi. Okay. Dạ, đúng rồi. Anh đọc hết câu đi, em chỉ tiếp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for someone with a love of money, you sum up 100 for the word entity. Okay, um, good. And where are the uh sounds in the sentence? Any of these words? For. For, okay. Someone, someone. Someone. Uh, someone. Uh, someone. sound of someone. Uh. Dumrai, Dumrai, very good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. 
<laughs> with a a love love, love. a sound or no love a uh, love uh. yeah sounds a little uh right love right very yeah. good uh, uh. Mari. Uh. okay uh 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 yeah. So the uh also another this is actually an aw uh sound, um, but is an uh sound as well. So of uh, yeah, very good. This money. Money. Ah, uh, uh uh money. Oh or no. Money. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Money. Damn right. Good, good. <laughs> That's a money, right? Uh sound. Money. Okay, good. The, 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 uh. Okay, how about this one? Some, yes. Some. Yes, got a thumb yeah. there. Okay. This one, we already know this from before. Oh. How about this one? One. One hundred, right? One. 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 Uh, one has an ah uh sound too, right? Uh, hungry, right? Uh, uh, hungry, right? Uh, sound is round, yeah. <laughs> Powered. 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 Uh, Pounds. Uh, Powered. Ah, uh, ah, uh, power. Okay, so this one actually doesn't have an ah uh sound, so this would be ah, uh, pa, ow. Uh, Pounds. Pound. Yeah. Yeah. So pounds is a type of money. Um, in the UK, the money they use is the pound. Pounds pound. is also a, a measurement of weight. So in America, you weigh 100 kilos, no, you weigh pound. 220 ah. pounds. Ah. Pound. Very good. What uh, us was? Was. Was. Mm -hmm. Wounds, wounds. Uh, was, uh. So this technically has a like an ah sound, but also kind of sounds like an ah, right? What uh was was um yeah. Wounds. And antis, 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 enticing. Antasi. No uh in there, right? Antasi. Uh, Enticing. Enticing. Uh, Enticing. Enticing, right? Enticing. So, no uh no uh in that one, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Harry. Yeah, thank um, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that was good. So lots of uh sounds inside of this sentence, right? Um, we're going to do another sentence, but we're going to go down to the aw uh sentences. So Ms. Chan, if you scroll down a little bit, and we're going to get, um, we're going to get, um, scroll down a little bit more. Um, yep, here we go. We'll get uh, Ms. Nam Ling. Ms. Nam Ling. Yes, I'm here. Very good. Um, do you think that you can read this first one and then identify any of the aw sounds? And you guys at home, take a look if you can read these and um, see if you can identify the aw sounds. Please go ahead. Uh, yes. Uh, a lot of odd document, document in strong box are locked in the office okay let's read this word one more time mm, document okay um so that's uh we're gonna have the ending sound on there with the ts and we're gonna hit the end um the middle part of the ending a little stronger so documents documents good good one more time documents very good this is really common if you work in an office that is speaking english Documents, document, used a lot. Many people do not pronounce it correctly. Very good. One more time. 
documents. Yes, excellent. And then um, this word, um, sorry, this word too, just the ending sound. Uh, boss. Good. And how would you do? Yes. Boss. Box is. Boxes. Box. Boxes. There we go. Good, good. Boxes. Boxes. Good. And where are the aw sounds in the sentence? Can you help find mm -hmm. them? Aw shall be a lot. Lot. Hmm. Very good. Lot, right? Uh, of. Of, yep. Yeah. Of. Uh, odd. Odd, okay, good. Um, document. 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 Very good, right? Doc, right at the beginning. Of document. Uh, strong. Strong. Yep. Very good. Boxes. Boss. Boxes. Boxes. Yeah. Boxes. Uh, clock. Lock. 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 Uh, yeah. Locked. Good, good. Uh, and uh, office. Excellent. I think we got them all right, yes. guys. All right. Very good, Nam Ling. Um, yeah. Time yeah, to yeah. check. Okay. Let's do one more of the Oz. Let's get uh, Miss uh, uh, Miss Trang. Miss Trang. Nguyen Lê Tan Trang. Chị Trang ơi. Chị Thanh Trang ơi, không biết mình có ở đây yes, không ạ? Oh, she's here. She's definitely here. I don't know about Chi, though. I, I think maybe Con is right for you or M. Miss uh, um, Trang? Yes. Can you please read this sentence and find the all words in the sentence? Ah. Uh. And I wash my cotton socks in the long pond. Good. Can you say this word one more time? Cotton. Okay. Um, actually, we'd say this word cotton. Cotton. Good. And we're going to say this word one more time. Pond. Good, good. Very good. And what are the aw sounds in this sentence? Can, can can I wash my cotton socks in the long pond? Good. And which are the aw aw the words with the aw sound in them? Does can have an aw sound? Can. 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 No aw, right? I. Aw. I. aw. No awe in there. How about wash? Wash is an awe? Wash. Wash, right? Yeah, wash has an awe sound. Good. My. Yes or no? Mm. It's a no, right? No, no, my. How about cotton? Cotton. Uh. Aw sound, right? Socks. Good. Socks. Socks Shum. has an aw, right? Yes. Yes, all right. In. No. No, okay. The? No. No. Yes. Yes. Can you say the word? Long. Very good. Very good. And this one? Yes. Yes, as well, right? Long pond. Very good. Um, yeah, yeah. Very, um, very good job. I think that's all of them in the sentence. Thank you very much, Tan Trang. Um, okay. All right. Let's, um, yeah, I think that... Um, that wraps up for the sentence reading there. Um, we are going to do one practice first. So you guys can practice this um, this verse. Read it out loud. 
read it at home. Um, read it out loud to yourself. Maybe, Chom, you can scroll down a little bit. Uh, and C, try to read it a little bit quickly and read it out loud to yourself. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. And you can get a taste of the aw sounds while reading, um, reading the verse. So practice reading this out loud by yourself. Um, and I'm going to ask anyone who wants to read this one out loud. Anyone? 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 I want to read it. Who can who can do a read? Boom! Some love money. Nam Ling Wing. Some love money. Yes, many people love money. Uh, sorry, Chum, can you scroll down? Yeah, there we go. So let's get uh, let's get Miss um, Miss Quinn, Dean Quinn. Yes, I'm here. Can you please read out this verse? Uh, uh, read uh, this sentence. Yes, please go. Uh, yeah. Oh, I. Or I, I want a proper cup of coffee, um, making a proper copper coffee pot or iron coffee pots. Uh, they are no use to me. If if I can have a proper cup of coffee in a proper coffee, copper coffee pot. I'll hear a cup of tea. Very good. And can you just read this line one more time? Uh, proper cup of coffee. Okay. Um, for this one, cup. Cup. Yeah. Good. Um, and everything else was very clear, easy to understand. Uh, that was great. Yeah. Um, thank you, Quinn. Yes, your awe sound is very clear, easy to understand. Thank you, Jerry. Great, guys. Um, so I think we'll um, we'll wrap it up there for this evening. So today we went through the difference in the uh sound and the awe sound. And a couple of the words that we learned tonight, um, not even related to the awe or the uh sound, Actually, um, one of the things we learned that I think um, quite common is you'll see this GH at the end of a word, like in the word rough or tough, right? And that GH sound will actually make a F sound at the end of a word. Um, so that was like a small thing we learned tonight that, um, that I think is good for, for reading. Um, and I think basically everyone here tonight, everyone did a really great job with making the aw sound or the uh sound in the words. Um, so excellent work. Great job, guys. And um, we are a member. I think this is the last uh, last lesson in our 10 part series. Um, so we do this basically every week for 10 weeks or 11 weeks. Um, and if you've missed one, that's okay because we're going to be starting from lesson number one again yeah. next week. Um, so we go all the way up one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we circle back and we come back around. Um, so any week, any week that you want to join, any week that you just want to practice your pronunciation or listen to English or um, just want you know to practice, um, we will be doing this Thursday nights, seven p.m. And this is only for ADU members uh, because we do this for our community and we, um, we really love you guys. So we want you to have all the opportunities to be successful in your English learning. So um, yeah, thank you all for coming out tonight. Great to see everyone. If you're living in Ho Chi Minh, congratulations. I hope you can go outside tonight. There's no curfew. You can go to the office tomorrow. You can go to the grocery store. We have freedom again. All right. Good night, guys. If anyone has any questions, i um, happy to, to take them. If not, you can go enjoy your evenings. Mọi người không biết có ai có câu hỏi gì không ạ? À? Uh, 
No. Carl. Okay. Good night, Quinn. Good night, yeah. Nanling. Good night, Harry. Damn, Pia. All right. Goodbye, Lang Wing. Bye. <laughs> Anyone have any plans for the weekend to enjoy their freedom? Miss V, do you have any plans this weekend? Me? Yes. <laughs> now that you can go outside and you can enjoy your life again, any plans? Uh, to be honest, I'm in. I'm under pressure to revise my application, so maybe I still stay at home for uh, writing essay, for uh, writing uh, uh, essay scholarship, or something like this for application. As I mentioned before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. you're going through your your process to apply to to school to study yeah. abroad, right? Yeah. Actually, I got a admit admission from the University of Florida. Do do you know this school? Can you say it one more time? Uh, the the uni the uni let me see University of Florida Quarantine in Gunville in Gunville City. Florida? Yeah, Florida. Yeah. F O R Florida, like the southern state of the U.S. Or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Great, um, very exciting, and I, I guess what are you planning to to study there? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't froze the admission because I think are uh, it's real it's really difficult for me to apply F one visa at the time due to lockdown. Uh, I edit from, from Supreme Symmetra to uh, Summer Symmetra, yeah, mm. Summer Intech. Uh, whereas I will try to apply other school for scholarship. That makes a lot of sense. So you are planning to go for next summer, is that like around June, like May, yeah. June of 2022? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, actually, uh, it's for the Supreme uh, in test uh January two thousand and twenty, but I defer to the June, the June the late summer, yeah. Because uh, they have spring, summer and from in tech. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um great. Very uh, very exciting. <laughs> One sec, my uh my my little son has just arrived in the room. Um come here Loki. This is uh this is my new little uh, my new little friend. This is oh, my, yeah. uh, my kitten Loki, and uh, I just got him last week. So there yeah, he, 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 he he's adorable. Yeah. This is uh, my son. So yeah, um, he's uh, how cute. Too. Why Loki? <laughs> Why Loki? It's a good name, right? Hey, yeah. So um, why Loki? Well, Loki is. Uh, Loki is a nor is a god um, from um, Finland and uh, Sweden and the northern countries of Europe. Um, they believe yeah. Loki is one of their gods, and he is um, he always means to do good, but he usually does it in a bad way. Um, so he's a little bit naughty, but yeah. uh, he also does um, tries to be good. So um, <laughs> yeah. So maybe I thought, I thought Loki in the end game Avenger. Um yeah, but Loki in the end game Avengers is named after Loki the god, right? Um so all of those like Thor, Loki, um Odin, I mean those are those are the the Nordic gods of um of northern Europe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um so yeah, that's the and the Avengers kind of took their name um, that's yeah. where they come from. Uh, <laughs> how can you how can you get him? Him? Um, yeah. I found him um, online. Uh, <laughs> saw that someone had um, 
had some babies and yeah 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 it's saw right that yeah. he needed a home so yeah yeah i was able to uh bring him home with me yeah yeah he, yeah uh, to take care of him yeah 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 exactly do you have any pets uh i have birthday uh a little birthday and uh, he's uh he's he really active he he he's someone love to uh to protect everyone and to uh, cat smile in my house look like a cat, but uh, he he actually uh, my my little sister uh, told him in street and we, we didn't know uh, what kind of him, so <laughs> he he really great and when I get the the photo uh, to other people and I asked her about him. Nobody tells us uh, what kind of thing, so it's really interesting. Yeah. Great. And how old? How old is the puppy? Uh, so far, he has been three years. Three years old. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Kind of not really a puppy anymore. More of like a, a young dog, right? Yeah, yeah, a young dog. But our, uh, her her party is to medium, not grow up in the mid size. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, that's probably easier for you to take care of then. Yeah, yeah. I, I really miss him when I uh, go abroad for my study because, as you know, we can talk to other people via social ne platform network, but to public, I can talk to him. <laughs> so maybe it becomes my difficulty and uh, my problem here. Well, you can always uh, potentially bring them with you if uh, one of um, one of our team members um, they uh, they had a dog here and they just moved to the U.S. and they brought their dog with them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a good way to to make some new friends and uh, have a friend uh, when you get there. Yeah, yeah. But I guess if you're traveling or you're really busy, then it's it's difficult. Yeah, yeah, it's not like hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, um, great talking with you. Have a nice weekend. Good luck with the scholarship essays. Um, maybe get out and have a little bit of fun or enjoy the weather. And um, yeah, we'll see, yeah. You, um, see you later. See you. Yeah. Bye, Harry. Bye, Cham. Bye bye. I'll see you. Bye bye. See you. Yep. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>